still Friday, August 26th. I just wanted to record this for myself so I don't forget uh, the theme this morning uh, was about trauma. The way that I learned how to address trauma was very much looking at our past in this it's a chapter in my life, I need to deconstruct it, right? And then package it up and then close the, close the book, right? And I'll close the chapter so I can keep moving forward. And again, I'm so grateful for these interactions with people because I'm learning more. And there's this realization I just had about how that can, uh, no, no, don't do that, UB. <laughs> Telling me, well, don't do, don't don't teach it that way, because what's happening is, um, because we're constantly evolving, and I even as I was having this conversation with my clients, I reflected on my story, and it's this element of. I I need to be comfortable, with how I experience my chapters, in that moment and accept it for how it unfolded in that moment, the emotional impact that I received, the emotional intrusion that occurred, right? The, the emotional loss that I experienced and be okay with how it was packaged in that moment, but still giving myself permission to know that my perspective on it right? I mean, that's part of the deconstructing. And, and the thing is, people think that just because I'm going to go to therapy, I'm going to do it once and be done with it. And, and right? And, and it makes sense. Like, you're not, you're not going to be done. You could try. And, and if you want, you'll be in therapy forever until you learn how to do it yourself, right? And the thing, the key is to give yourself permission to continue to evolve and, and give yourself permission to revisit those moments in your life and look at them differently, right? Instead of, instead of closing that chapter and saying, I'm done, because I now know, right, that I still get triggered. I still get triggered. When I think I'm resolved, I have, have it resolved, then something comes up and it reminds me, it's like, oh, only that the sting isn't as, as intense, right? So it forces me to look back at that event to continue to deconstruct it. So, so there's a certain element, because that was one of the things that my other client was really struggling with. She, she had this vision of how the trauma work was going to do, and I was trying to let her, and I did let her know. I said, I remember telling her, it's going to keep coming up and it's going to keep triggering you only that it won't feel so um, intense. The sting won't feel so intense. And, and she was trying to just seal everything up, all of the shattered pieces. She just wanted to seal it up. And I remember thinking, oh, snap, snap, it's not going to work. Right. And I told her, I said, you know, it's going to keep the triggers. Right. It, it just won't. That's how you'll know that your healing is when you when it it comes back up, it won't be as intense. But I have to give myself permission to continue to look back, realign it because I have now a new pair of glasses, right? Time has gone on. I've, I've looked at my situation in, in, in a different way. So then that chapter in my life that I closed, right? I need to reopen it. And, and that can be frustrating for people. If, if I think that, you know, I've let it go, right? That, that was the first, my first client today. She was telling me, um, she's like, all the other therapists have told me, you just have to let it go. You just have to let it go. And she's like, and you're the first person. <laughs> she, she's like, you're the best therapist. I'm like, I'm not the first therapist, right? <laughs> I, I'm in the middle is what I told her. She's like, no, but you're the best therapist for me. Let me tell you why. <laughs> so she goes off and says, Everyone else has told me to let it go. I have to let it go. But you're the first person to tell me I need to own it. That I need to accept it. And and then and then but then but then she kept asking more, but how do I it's the how. So then I was ex 
explaining the steps, the in-between steps, right? And what that looked like. She's like, you're the first person to actually give me something to work with. <laughs> right? Because therapy, you don't, we don't give the answers. You, you, you allow the client to explore. And I'm just like, I, we've moved past that, I believe, in, as a society. It still works for some people, but it's working less and less for people, I believe. I believe people are much more aware, right? Just, just, you know, they need the tools. There's so much more information available to people and, and but people are still worried that they don't know enough, right? That they don't know how to do it for themselves. But they can, they can. We're much more capable now as a society to do our own healing work on our own. So anyways, so I was explaining to the second client, uh, it, and it's because of how he experienced retelling his story, his loss. He got s surprised because he he experienced the loss and then he realized, oh snap, how do I tell people about this loss? And oh, I was taken back. I was taken back, right, about the divorce and, and how, how we continue to tell people and realizing, oh snap, they don't know. How do I tell them, right? And it's, again, this... Re revisiting of the trauma or, or the loss or the intense experience, if you will, and, and having to review it again and, and give it new meaning. So you have to give yourself permission, permission to keep adjusting, keep aligning. And that's what I was explaining to him after he shared that with me. I was like, oh, that totally makes sense. You have to do it in a way where you, you own it for what it was in that moment. And every moment after that, you own it. And then you re-own it, right? Revisit it, re, you know, deconstruct it again, give it new meaning because you've learned more things. And so what you used to believe about it no longer makes sense and that's okay. That's the thing, we need to be okay with that so that I can realign, readjust my truth to where it fits the new me, the new me where I am in this moment. I want, I just I just wanted to capture that before I forgot. <laughs> so I could <laughs> so I could do something with it later on. Cause I, I haven't put my trauma course together and I think that I want to include that in there. Yeah. Okay. Time to go back to listen to what was, what was I listening to? Great, great. It, it's on YouTube, Guardians of the Galaxy. Awesome mix, volumes one and two, full soundtrack. Good dancing. Good dancing music to just you know, get back into high vibration. <laughs> That's it. Bye. Hey you, my name is Yubi and I use she they pronouns and you've just finished watching a clip from my video diary entries where I'm documenting my healing journey as I learn how to navigate my spiritual awakening. I have learned that this experience and process is unique to each and every one of us in whatever way we are embracing living our truth. This just happens to be my journey. And despite me having a graduate degree and a license in clinical social work, this by no means is intended to replace any type of formal mental health advice. This is just me on a personal level, um, shedding light on the truth that I am learning and discovering for myself as these experiences unfold and really inviting you along for the ride. Um, please know that there is a time gap between when these videos post and my real timeline and also that these clips build upon each other similar to chapters in a book. So if you find yourself lost or confused, feel free to click on the playlist section or the link below um, where you can jump around, check out the other chapters and or catch up. Um, also, please know that um, you're more than welcome to check out my website, www.youbecominghealed.com, where I've gathered all of this information, my background, experience, um, and education to create online self-paced courses to help you on your healing journey wherever you are. You're also more than welcome to check out my other YouTube channel, at You Becoming Healed, where I've entertained a podcast, including clips from these courses so that I can make this content accessible to more and more people. Um, please click like, subscribe, and share this content so again it reaches more people with the hopes that other people will resonate and connect with the healing journey and the stories shared so that they don't feel alone in their own process. I thank you.
you in advance. I'm grateful to you and um, I wish you well.